Yeah, today I'm not really doing any reliable builds. I'm just uh, messing around and trying out some new stuff. This one is infinite power from the steam turbine. And doing it completely legitimately and within all the mechanics of the game, I, I just want to see if we can do it. What I'm trying to uh, exploit here, I suppose, is that these uh, power transformers have one unique property. They give off heat and they absolutely consume zero energy and there is no limit to the amount of heat they can give off. As in, for example, uh, the liquid tepidizer. The liquid tepidizer has a set limit it can go up to and then it stops. A lot of things do. This one can go up to about, uh, was it 70 degrees I think it heats the water up to or something terrible, I can't remember. But these can keep heating the environment, well, as hot as you want it. So all I need to do is get them all up to about 100 degrees and then dump in some steam. And then they should keep dumping heat into the steam and I should be able to run the steam turbine off just the steam generated by the power transformers. Now, some of the ones in the center there have gone up. Let's see. What are we looking at there? Yep, we got about 100. Let's, uh, let's dump in some steam and see how this works out. I'm just going to stick in a 1,000 kilos to start and see what happens. Might need a bit more. That is a big room. Oh, and some of it's condensing at the bottom. Okay, that's not good. Not good. Is it the mesh tiles? Oh, the mesh tiles are absorbing the heat. Well, that's not... Yeah, problematic. Okay, I'll give this another 10 minutes and we'll come back to it. I got this sucker up uh, to about the right temperature. Now let's just paint in a thousand kilos of steam and see what happens. Uh, everything's been pre-warmed. We shouldn't end up in any liquid at the bottom. Yeah, here we go. Now, do we have enough pressure? Yeah, that's not enough. Let's let's jump dump in an extra thousand. Perfect. Now to see if we can get it running. Let's just give this a little time to get up to operating temperature, and hopefully this should be a self-sustained reaction. Uh, I'm curious to see how much power we get out of this. Okay, so we're getting closer to operating temperature. Once it hits 125, it should start to actually... Oh, there we go. And the question is whether we can get it to run stably. Uh, that water down there is accumulating. I'm thinking some temperature shift plate tiles might be in order. And we'll... Uh, That should hopefully help spread out the heat. Nope, not good enough. Mm. Damn it, I was really hoping I could get this working right. Okay, let me do some more experimentation here. There's got to be some way I can distribute it the heat well enough. I might have to cover the entire place in diamond sh temperature shift plates, but I can live with that. Okay, so I installed lots of diamond temperature shift plates, and I've also uh, preheated everything so it should be good to go. Let's stick in 2,000 kilos. Actually, make it 3,000 kilos of steam. Why not? And we'll see if we can't keep this sucker running for a while. Uh, what I really want to achieve here is just get it running perfectly sustainably. It doesn't have to produce an awful lot of power. Just any power consistently with no inputs. That's kind of what we're aiming for here. Now, just to cool it down, all I'm doing is I'm using the output water and running it by the turbine. Though, now that I think about it, I should probably put an atmosphere in there. That would actually make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Oops. Uh, let's go with some hydrogen. Yeah, two kilos is fine. And we'll, we'll make that pretty cool to start. Okay, that heat is rising rapidly. Whoa. Oh, that's probably the plumbing. Sucking it out of the output heat. But theoretically here, as the steam turbine runs and generates heat, the heat it's producing I'll dump into the the water, the output water, and hopefully they should balance out where the heat it's being produced will be dumped into the water and then which will get dumped in here, which will help power the steam turbine. So yeah, as you can see there, it's up to 97.8, 97.9. We just have to hope that that doesn't go above 100. Hopefully with a bit of tweaking, we can achieve a perfect balance. Anyway, I'm going to run this for a while and see what I can come up with. So, after a little bit of playing around, I realized I'd made a minor mistake. Uh, I needed 250 transformers, and I put in 16, and was supposed to do 16 down, but I did the 16 across and only 8 down, so, yeah, half as many as I needed. So now I have a little bit over, and the whole system has started churning out power. Now, bear in mind, these transformers don't cost anything once they're charged up, so if we look at the power overlay here, we can actually destroy that 
they're now no longer connected to any power at all, and they're still generating heat, which we are then churning through the steam turbine to churn out power. In fact, we've managed to get more power out of it because this is a radiant piping going through here, so it's actually soaking up some heat. It comes out at 85, but by the time it exits, by the time it exits the steam turbine, it's 80, 80 what, 98.6? So it comes out at 95, so it's getting to two and a half degrees on the way out. So we're actually generating a little bit of power out of this. Kind of nice, not gonna lie. Uh, current wattage, 200 and just under 250 watts. So 250 watts of free power. All it will cost you is about 50 tons of steel. <laughs> or you could use space metal if you go that way. So 50 tons of steel, uh, an awful lot of planning, a huge chunk of land. And uh, yeah, the steam turbine, totally broken. I mean, with this kind of exploit available. <laughs> Though, uh, for all those people out there who like using power transformers, I apologize because I'm pretty sure the devs will just nerf these by making them have some sort of power runoff just to cancel out this, uh, this glorious, glorious design. Uh, haven't optimized this yet, amazingly enough, uh, to, for survival playthroughs. Uh, I should really get right on that. Anyway, uh... Hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to see if I can find some more ridiculous things I can do with the steam turbine. I wanted to do this exact design with the previous turbine, tur steam turbine, only, well, the power draw requirements or the steam temperature requirements on the previous turbine, I would have been looking at half the map. But this, uh, yeah, this new one, it, it's much more uh, feasible, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Anyway, uh, enjoy this little debug video. It was just uh, me having a bit of a laugh.